went high who are not more than 500 people. We are not talking of one billion and some organization must come in here. Go ahead, sir. I must add, Saudi government, they have their rules, they have their regulations, and therefore, we and them, we have to abide by all those regulations. It is not only in the interest of Saudi government, it is much more in the interest of three peoples. When we choose to go there all at the same time, Chances are that there will be something Lives will be lost. People will be there. I don't think that is in the interest of this type of center for us to run into a situation where we will deliberately make it difficult for us uh, not to do what we are supposed to do. They have their rules and they say, we can't just obey their rules. We don't want to run into that system. In addition to that, sir, we did discuss and uh, we did argue that the female creatures, the number of female creatures, <coughs> maybe the hundreds of thousands. The reason being that females, by 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 their biological uh, situation, they will be able to relate more with the female creatures. And maybe we will talk about fertility by knowing a pattern. For the past three years, we have male, female babies. So that if we know they are up to 40%, then the same ratio for the creatures. What What is the ratio, Chairman? But, uh, it, it varies from one year. So on the minimum, we can have 35% yes. for female creatures. And experts, sanitation experts, within the medical team. So that they will be in a position to professionally take care of the sanitation in our premises, in Mona, and in Arafat. And do I have some thinking expert that I will put in this committee? Why don't you get I have some money and that? But we still want to have the policy of each building from the beginning of and that will come to the society and you down to the commission. I begin to complain, you are not putting the you seem to be afraid of the mic. Yes. It is to be important. That last year, what we are supposed to do, they have their rules and they say, we can't just obey their rules. We don't want to run into that system. In addition to that, sir, we did discuss and uh, we did argue that the female creatures, the number of female creatures, <coughs> maybe the hundreds of the reason being that females, by, by, by their biological uh, situation, they will be able to relate more with the female creatures than with the male creatures. And maybe we will talk about fertility by knowing a pattern. For the past three years, we have male female babies. So that if we know they are up to 40%, then the same ratio for the creatures. What, what is the ratio, Chairman? But, uh, it, it varies from one year. So on the minimum, we can have 35% for yes. female creatures. And I experts, sanitation experts, within the medical team, so that they will be in a position to professionally take care of the sanitation in our premises, in Mona, and in Arafat. And do I have some thinking expert that I will put in this committee? Why don't you get out some money and that? But we still want to have the policy of each building from the beginning of and that will come to the society and down to the commission. 
It is to report that last year, the major problem we had at home was the issue of Mahara. But let's go back to that idea. What was the issue? The because issue. I remember at one time, a very conservative, this is also part of the symbolism, somebody will tell you, they say I must eat a part of that meat, <laughs> which is actually not complicated. But if some people feel that way and they want to be the one to slaughter it and eat the meat, why not? So what, what is the issue now? That your prayer will be accepted but the Imam's one is not accepted. We know that one. So in your heart, if you give somebody money to go and do Hadaya and he decides to put the money in his pocket, but if you know, if you know the man that gives, that's a different matter. Okay? Anyway, the, the optional will still continue. In respect of the airlift, but the return bound journey, the normally crowd the experience of the days said to well, about six hours. Um, the relief for us to talk seriously to airliners so that they keep the relationship mind coming back as well as when Uh, what's the problem of the scheduling? Is it the state issue or the airline? Or is it that other states bribe the airline and then they leave such a state that are not bribed? No, but okay, you don't want the word to be used. Okay, how lobbying? Maybe we don't know how to lobby them to come to our aid or what? That's a chief I would say. That's when they come, they have to scout around for fuel and uh, take some time to let the fuel before they turn around. And because they are carrying past uh, police back home with their luggage, they are unable to fill the tank from uh, Saudi Arabia. And they do when doing the uh, air, air out of the island. So they, they come lightly fuel and they have to fully fuel in Nigeria. But if they are doing the outbound air, they come fully fuel and they, they don't really need to fuel the country. So you see the technical issue now that uh, what what is the problem with the well you can start down there doing nothing and then you are saying you are minded then you know but you come to us. That's what they do. Or we take it and give it to Commissioner Religious so that it appears like it's a problem for you. Two hour tents in Arafat, two hour tents in Muna for medical and for one I saw this. Why you can change the upper part? Save ourselves, we shall do it to TW, which Alhamdulillah will achieve in 2010 and consolidate in 2011. And now we are, we are now proceeding to vision 2, the 10 2015, which is a global vision. First of all, it's a national vision. So thank you very much for the administration and the members. We are most grateful to all participating ministries and stakeholders who have given us support and advice and share and also uh, constructive criticism that has helped us to sit sit up and perform better and better. We thank you very much and we pray that everyone will serve our First of all, since our time goes to the chief servant for his support and making each year a reality and success for everybody in Nigeria State.
has been said. Mine is not thank you and thank you and thank you. May Allah continue to give you the wisdom to lead us. Allah will give you Allah your father, mother, father, father, Everybody did his work in his part correctly. The commission members, the board members, the Amir al Haj team, even the religious affairs team, we did our best. We worked together as a family Good. and we succeeded. Niger State is number one. And what is your group are all oversight and see the new houses this year, sir? <laughs> to solve this problem of al muharram So now I was in the ground with all our women. And the happier people are, 
the better concentration they may have during their development. And that's why we insist. And I have given you an example. Many of the people that are coming for this region, many of them do not benefit from any government of it. They do not go to a school, they do not have tap water, in fact, the water that they drink their body is already immune. They do not enjoy anything of yours, even the electricity, they don't. Some of them, this is the first time they come into contact with government. And many of them in, in Adia they were cheated because they didn't know what to do. Somebody was telling me that, uh, that uh, one of these people who you think they know, the tradition uh, uh, that got lost and couldn't talk to anybody. So when he saw an Arab, he kept saying, he did not start and must have. The Arab now would not know you are. He said, show me the right path. The right path to where? <laughs> so we must take care of these kind of people. And we must pay attention right from here. Because why would somebody want to spend money when he does not know even the regiment of what he's supposed to do? Somebody comes to pay this amount of money for heart, but does not know how to even perform operation. These are the people that need our assistance, and also when they go out there, what they are supposed to be doing. Pilgrimage is supposed to add to your piety. For you to see what has happened, and that's why it is not called an accord made that compulsory. It is not like prayer that you must do five times a day. There are many conditions attached to it. So if you keep going, like they say, some people have turned it into a touristic thing now, God will give you a reward of tourism. But if you go with the mind to learn more, the purpose is to teach you to teach you equality and to add to the piety and to also understand the history. Because for each performance of what you have done, there is a history behind it. So it is important that we continue to help. More so some of them, they are coming straight to the village to Mina, to the plane, and from the plane direct there. They have never been anywhere else. There are many stories of people who would not know how to even put the seatbelt unless they are assisted. So it means we must continue to give subsidy. And I made it a point. Because my concept of going either for Umbra or for Hajj is to do those things that are very, very essential. And to do that, you need to be near the institutions where you need to perform them. When I came, it was almost three or five kilometers away where neither life used to be kept. I know the house because I remember when I was the chairman in, in, in LCT, I had my uh, chairman picking water from the kingdom, I think that was on the second So I used to ask, I used to go and see where the United States uh, people were staying. And many of them, they cannot afford to go, or if they go to Kaaba, then they cannot go back home until they finish by training all the prayers. And you know the situation of those who are more fit. <coughs> so many of them may be praying even without going to do perform other operation because sometimes because of the congestion of the place, you may not get a chance to go out and do other things. So please, we must become very conscious of that and continue to assist. Local governments must be advised properly. 
because we're having a lot of problems with the APOs. Sometimes we really don't know. Is it the local government authority or the APO that is having a problem? So now, why is the problem? Is it APO or chairman of local government? Or both? And so the damage is done. That's right. The female preachers, I think we should take note of that particular position. We will reconstitute the Amiru Hajj team, but I'm told that Hadiza becomes a perpetual member, or at least for now. Now, the airlifting, we haven't talked about this division. Uh, sometimes you have these two aircrafts coming, or two airliners coming. I am not aware of what, is, what has been arranged this time around. What is the actual issue now on the ground? <laughs> Government chairman must be held responsible if you sponsor one or two people. If the local government for any reason, but I think with the kind of subsidy that we are given to all the pilgrims, I don't see any need for any person to sponsor somebody extra again. Apart from this list, we said the Ulamas, the medical team, one or two journalists, not journalists, one or two journalists, so <laughs> the Amir al team and the officials of the Pilgrims Commission. Other than that, I don't want to hear and now are we agreed on the 90% or 80% first timers? So that you protect Nigeria. Anytime uh, these assessments are made, we are always shown as if we are at least behaved. People will talk about Indonesia, Malaysia, you see them all organized and all, and our own people still going helps us help them looking for things to do. I think we, we, we all the states at the local level and also at the commission level must really uh, uh, recommend to the, their governors and also to the president on how we can improve on this type of thing and how we can make our people really to get properly. And I think it hinges more on this training. Training before they go and also inculcated in them the spirit of the whole essence of pilgrimage. We need to do that. Now, I'm, I'm, today I'm a little careful because certainly it's not what you say that sometimes is reflected. When I saw headlines today in many of the newspapers, I laughed. I said, did I say that? I was wondering whether they were referring to me. And then sometimes when you go to read the content, you begin to wonder how a headline can be so different from the content. But that is neither here nor there. What I said yesterday, and I still repeat it, is that each one of us has his own responsibility. Each state governor has his own responsibility. Those who are clamoring for keeping the wings of governors do not seem to understand the politics of the matter. And that is the essence of the message that I was sending out. None of us is fighting Mr. President. And if any governor is fighting Mr. President on a personal matter, we the governors are capable of dealing with that particular person at every level of our association. We have the Northern Governors Forum, we have the PDP Governors Forum, we have South East, South West, South South Governors uh, for us, and I believe that we are capable of handling situations like that. So all the politics you hear that these are pitch either Amechi uh, versus uh, Shema are more in the outside <coughs> paper thing. We believe Nigeria is bigger than any one of us. 
and that governors must respect Mr. President and the President. That is part of our offer of office. Any governor who tries to ridicule presidency or to ridicule Mr. President is doing that at his own peril. But again, we must also make sure that we do not subject any governor to ridicule unnecessary. As the chairman of Northern Governors Forum, I will go out of my way to protect the image of governors and to make sure Again, no governor tries to ridicule the presidency. That those were the essence of my information. But somebody even went to say he got an info informer who told him that in one minute what I said. I said after the informer entered my heart. Because what, what was said did not come through my mouth. But however, uh, after some discussion I realized that sometimes this can happen this way. But we must be very courageous, we must be very frank, so that we do not let our nation go bonkers. With all of us, sometimes why you see I go on this way is to listen to you and to know really what you want. I didn't have to ask you. I could have even called them to my office to give me this report. But you, you will notice any time an issue comes up, I will want to hear from you because you will be the one to explain to people outside. And if you don't understand what is on the ground, you will not be able to appreciate what is happening out there. And many of us, once we read a newspaper, because newspaper is supposed to be a primary source, many of us believe, well, the moment we see a printed thing, we believe because we know, or we, we want to believe that that thing will not have gone into a print unless it's the truth. So please help us to educate the people to understand and to make sure that like other nations, we think 10 years, 20 years ahead, let us not be living only for the moment. I thank you very much, the Amiral Hashtim. Like I said, we will construct the Amiral Hashtim properly. And uh, yes, sir. You forgot one thing. Thank you. Yes, so this is medical and yes. they badly need another yes. Oh, then they don't need if they badly need. <laughs> <laughs> so, he has yes, no more attention to that. Neither the people who saw the air police nor the commissioner of health. We have over well over four hundred. Yes, sir. But any perpetual one. But if you want to put a politics in medical team, the issue of the ambulance, uh, all of all of those people who have contributed tremendously to the success of high and who will contribute by God's grace to 2013 Hajj and make it a success too. We ask Allah to reward you abundantly. Let me thank you once again and close this meeting. I'm happy with the report of the